What's up guys and welcome back to another one of my escapades and today we're going to go explore the old trading post known as Bent's Old Fort. It was erected in the 1800s, 1833 to 1846 and during that time it acted as a midway point between the start of the trail in Kansas and the end of the trail in New Mexico. Let's go check it out. Wouldn't be travelable now, but that would have been a crazy, crazy way to travel across these plains. Let's go inside. Now this is a public establishment, and they do have a nice little donation box right here. And we're gonna go ahead and leave a little bit of a donation. If you guys visit a place that has a donation box, make sure that you do donate to them as it is the only thing that is keeping the place going. Hi, kitty kitty. Hi. What you doing? So this fort was reconstructed. I heard that there was a fire that had happened. Look at this place. They have peacocks on the property, and peacocks are known to be very protective animals. A lot of graveyards will use them as security. This is the first thing that I started noticing right here. You don't think about it in these different places that I go to, but that animal hide would have been put on these borders to keep the air drafts out. You don't really think about that. It's pretty cool that they've included it. Or maybe it's original. Okay, good. I don't need to get my flashlight out just yet. So this is one of the hangout rooms. This fort was used as a trading post back in 1820. What's in there? Oh, that matches. Back in 1821 to 1848, international trade was all the new rise. 
And so this fort served as a trading post, kind of like a Walmart, one of the rangers explained to me, between, uh, between Kansas and New Mexico. There was a trail called the Santa Fe Trail, and this fort was in between. So it was a good place to kind of stop, replenish your supplies, rest up a while. He told me that they would stay for weeks, even months at a time, just resting for a minute before they moved on. When they stayed for months, it was more likely they were staying in the winter and waiting for the spring to come back so that they could continue to travel. Because they would travel with their livestock and they would travel with their families. So it was essentially a whole little town traveling together. I'm sure there was probably solidarity travelers as well, such as trappers and traders out on the road. This place looks like it is ready for service at any moment. Dining room? Is this class? Ooh, it is. That's like a cobalt blue. That's really cool. She said they have events here. I wonder what kind of events that they host. It's a cool little bowl. I think I would rather drink out of this kind of a wooden bowl instead of the uh, tin cups. I don't see them in here, but there's some tin cups. Well, that's actual glassware. This looks like a washroom. These look like face wash buckets. This cobalt blue is very popular. These, there we go. Yeah, I'd rather drink out of those wooden cups than these tin cups. Look at that. <laughs> it looks like they've been personalized. Some of them have been personalized. Little ropes. This one looks new though. Maybe not so new. Is it candle making? Looks like candle making. I do need a flashlight for this. Let me get my flashlight. Oh, did I not bring it? I didn't bring it. Forgot my big flashlight. I don't know how much you guys are going to be able to see in here with my phone flashlight. Not really anything. This was like a little storage area, like a little storm cellar. Alright, let's go to the other side. Oh, let's go upstairs, actually. Up those stairs right there. When I was walking around before, I felt specific energy in a couple of the different rooms. This specific room up here. I 
I don't know if it's the original postman. Because this looks like it was a postmaster's kind of place to stay when he came through. But I don't know if this is the original postmaster's place or not. I say that he's affiliated with the mail because right here, right here, this, this looks like um, one of the Pony Express, what would have been a Pony Express canteen. Still open? I don't know. Might have been painted shut. But that's what that, that looks like a Pony Express canteen. Oh, wow. Is that blood? On the strap? Crazy. That almost looks like blood stains. sword here too. There was a lot of Christianity going through the country at that time. A couple of different crosses in here. I wonder if that's gold. This is one of the nicer beds, too. I'll show you guys. Most of it is all bed rolls, but this person has a nice bed and a chest. He got his boots. This looks like a postman's outfit. A Pony Express outfit. That's really cool. Wow. Anything in his pocket? No. This is actually a pretty neat idea. Right above the bed. <laughs> and I signed the book. There we go. And I don't know if they do watercolor pants here or something. There's a couple of different watercolors. That looks like a map of the fort. face washing station. This looks more like it would have been an 1800 bowl. Hello. The New York Herald? What's the date? The date's been torn off. Oh, here it is, 1846. Wow. 1846. Look how small that print is. Oh my gosh. Look how tiny. It won't even focus on the print because it's so tiny. Now we're on the top level. Now all the walls here are made out of mud. This is all mud plaster. They do have a construction crew working over here. They're making an irrigation system over there. There's a little bit of noise over here, but that's okay.
game room. Got cards. I don't know what kind of. Oh, there we are. There's the numbers. Ashtray, Weekly Tribune, there's another one, what's this date, this is, looks like 46, 1846, June 6th, 1846, got some checkers over here, Places are still used. Oh, listen here. F. Oh, fire. I like how they have the little fire hydrants hidden. There was another one in a barrel. The only thing I can guess is where, why there's stairs right here is that so that the guys with the guns could get up top. That's the only thing that I can guess why there's stairs right here. This fort looks like it can be used for its purpose today. We got construction doing irrigation work. Here's one of their rooms. Look at that coat. That looks like buffalo. Yeah, that, that's either bison or buffalo. It doesn't look like they use this room. This fireplace is not smoky. Oh, there's one of the muskets. Get in, they've got it. They've got it wired off. There's one of the muskets. And then those feathers right there would be quills. Looks like he's got a couple of telescopes. In here. see in here? Yes. Good. I won't block the sun coming in from the door too much. Try not to. I don't know what these are. These things hanging. They feel like and sound like rawhide. I don't know what they would be for. And they're fastened, oh crap, anyway, they're fastened in a sort of a knot. This one is too. And again, they feel and sound like rawhide, but they're in these kind of knots. Does anybody know what these used to be for? Looks like they're being hung up for drying. Hmm. Let's get a lid on this one. Oh wow. is open. Jeez, that looks like a brand new rope. This is a drinking gourd.
It looks like it's stopper is too pounded in the top. They would hollow these gourds out and fill them up. There is a gourd that has not been hollowed out yet. There's the stem. See that? And it still has its stuff inside. So they would, they would pop off that stem, hollow that out, and then they could fill it up for water. I don't know what kind of a gourd that is. Who here has played Skyrim? This has a very big similarity to the design and structure that Skyrim does. Funny story about that game, actually. I played it for five years. <laughs> I am a completionist when it comes to games, and I had to complete every single mission that I was being given. The problem was is that I found out Skyrim is a loop game. So when I completed a mission, another mission from say three years ago would loop back over and <laughs> I wouldn't remember that I had already done the mission and I would continue on my journey. <sighs> Finally found that out five years of playing. <laughs> Good game though, really good game though. Been waiting for the uh, the next chapter. I think it's out. I'm guessing this would be like a soldiers. One of the military, one of the military militia soldiers. Rooms. There's a nail. I wonder what the nail's for. Oh, see, look, yeah, see, he has one too. So, is this, but this one doesn't say US on it. And this one doesn't have blood stains on it either. I'm really wondering if that was blood stains on that strap. Stuff in there. What's in there? Oh. It's just stuffing to make it look like there is something in there. Yeah, this place really looks like a section from Skyrim. Oh, I think they're locking up. You guys locking up? <laughs> no, it's okay. I've been over there. <laughs> he didn't know I was still walking around. Let me ask him if I can get into this room right here. This room is the apothecary and it was one of the rooms that I felt different energy inside it. I want to show you guys. Alright, we got the okay. Let me show you guys. And we're going to leave this open so that we can have some light. This place. Has some very interesting things.
I don't know what this is. It looks like a seed pod. But I'm not too sure what it is. It almost looks like an alien jawbone. There's a jawbone right there. I don't know, I think they're seed pods, and I have no idea what that is. <laughs> no idea. Oh, that's a horn. So this would be the medicine room. Oh yeah, they like that. Got skulls in there. Got old medicine in there. Can't really see this side. These would be your crutches. That's actually, that's, that's pretty comfortable. Probably wouldn't be comfortable after a while though. Of all day use. that in here would definitely be the doctor's chambers. It's so quiet in this room. Ooh, 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 it's moving. It's moving. It's moving. Let me see if I can get a closer shot. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can get this on my camera. Because my camera can get closer shots. There we go. It's moving. Is there a spirit in here? If you talk to any one of these boxes I'm holding, I will hear your whisper. There is definitely not a draft in here. All the doors and windows are closed in this room. There's no draft coming through this doorway that I'm in right here. I'm going to find out what that iron bar was used for. Wow. I just got a hard to breathe. Do you want to make a noise for me? That's the people outside. I'm going to see if we can get away with doing it. Let's see if we can get anybody to communicate with us. Is there anybody here? Is the doctor still here? Are you moving that? Iron pole next to the window. Did you see many deaths at this fort? I think that was a yes. That was another yes. What's your name? Oh, 
Is there something that you want to say? Are you the doctor of this fort? Good to go, yeah. <laughs> oh no, you're okay, man. If you need me to leave, I can leave. They are about to close the fort down. They close at 5.30. They did tell me, however, that I am able to come back at night and just wander around the outside of the fort. I am really looking forward to doing that. I am really excited to come back at night to do that. And then hopefully from there, maybe we will be able to get access to stay overnight inside. Let's say goodbye to the spirits before we leave. Yeah. Are you there, Doctor? Yeah. Did someone die in this room? Did they do a good job reconstructing the fort after the fire? What is this ball right here? Do you want to stay in this fort? That's just made up to look like someone's under there. No one's under there. I'm going to have to go for right now. I will return. Thank you for communicating if you did. Bye. There's the peacock. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll go down. That's a bell tower right there, but they've already closed it up. Oh, I should close this back up for him. Goodbye, spirits. You're not allowed to follow me. It doesn't have a thing on it. There we go. Let's go say hi to the peacock before we leave. I don't want to sneak up on him. I don't want to get attacked by the peacock. <laughs> oh, there's another one right there.
He doesn't want to get close to me. Hi, Mr. Peacock. Yeah, they've closed up all the other doors. Ah, nothing beats the smell of burning wood in an old fireplace. That's amazing. So that pole up there, he said that it does move on time to time, occasion and to occasion. He said that it was because he was closing the doors. We'll call it that for now. See if it moves next time we come out. Can you imagine? This was the first sight that you would see coming up to the fort. The first sight of relief after traveling possibly five days with no supplies other than the ones that you took until you get to this location here. All right, guys, that's going to do it for our escapade today. I hope you guys enjoyed the looking around that fort. And I really look forward to coming back at night. So excited to come back at night. On my way out of the fort, I found a location of what used to be the old cemetery for the fort. And there was a stagecoach hand that had died there. And he has a actual headstone on the location of where he's buried. But you can still see the plot of where that little cemetery was. And it said that it wasn't all excavated before, which means that they're still there. So when we come back at night, we'll especially be paying attention to that. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscription button if you're new to the channel, as well as the little bell notification icon so you don't miss the next escapade. And as for now, I'm out of here.